of testimony in the trial of the men accused of killing Ahmaud Arbery. This morning in court, health impacted testimony. Larry English, the man who owned the unfinished home, Ahmaud Arbery looked inside while out jogging, was not in court saying he was too sick to appear. Instead, attorneys played a video of his previously recorded deposition. Our Haley Mason is live outside the Glen County Courthouse. What else has happened so far in court today? Haley, a busy day yesterday. Busy day yesterday, Karen. A lot more calm today, I must say. The name Larry English, we've heard it a lot, but we haven't seen him much. He is the homeowner of the home under construction in Satilla Shores, the home at the center of this entire incident. Right now, the jury is in the courtroom behind me, listening to a four hour taped deposition from English. We'll show you the video of him now. This is Larry English, a man in his early 50s, uh, on video for a previously recorded deposition that the state took on September 24th. He has a chronic illness, as you mentioned, and he could not appear in person, so they're playing this recording. English owns that house under construction under Satilla Drive, and he said after being diagnosed with sarcoidosis, a severe illness, he wanted to speed up his lifelong dream of owning a house on the water, and he started construction on that one about two hours from where he lives in Douglas, Georgia. He said originally he installed these blink security cameras after a neighbor told him that these little boys were going on the construction site and playing. He said he was worried about their safety initially, not really worried about anyone stealing anything. But by late October, he began calling the police after seeing Arbery entering the home. He again then called the police after seeing another couple enter the home, and he told police by then that something had been stolen from his boat. He wanted police to send a deputy out as soon as possible. I just want you to listen to this first call English made to police in late October of 2019 when he first saw Arbery wandering around through the construction site. Yes, ma'am, this is Larry English. I'm calling from Douglas, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a house that we're under construction on. I have a dock down at 220 Satilla Drive at Satilla Shores in Brunswick. Okay. I got a camera system there. I've got a trespasser there. So he's a, a colored guy, got real curly looking hair. He's tattooed down both arms. And, uh, and he's over there kind of pondering around on what's going on. I was just wondering if you could send a, a deputy or somebody out to check him out for me, please. That is English on the phone with police describing Ahmad Arbery inside his home in 2019. They're going to listen to about two more hours of that recorded deposition before the state will then call Officer Robert Rash. Officer Rash is important because he was the officer that told Larry English to call Greg McMichael if you have problems in your home. We'll be bringing you updates later today on CBS 46 News. For now, reporting live outside the Glenn County Courthouse, Haley Mason, CBS 46. All right.